hello everyone welcome to my channel so we'll be learning how to make this standing sleeve in this few minutes tutorial yes few minutes because it's not time taking so let's move to the cutting table here with me is the the what i want for just one sleeve take notes depends on how full you want it or how full your client wants it that is how wide is what you use my client doesn't want it so wide so i'm going to use 24 as the roundness of the sleeve you know as usual let's assume the the sleeve round the round sleeve is 12 a uh hey -huh, or the round sleeve is 10 instead of using that i decided to use 24 that is half is 12 so if you want it fuller than that you can decide to make yours 30 you can decide to make your 30 something but for me, this 12 is okay. That is the width at which I want it. And after getting the width, you try as much as possible to get the length at which you want as well. Then after doing that, you what I do is I just take away 6 inches from the beginning, as you can see. I take away 6 inches. It's not that hard to do. Then from the center as well you get your six inches then you curve there's this funny thing i normally do if i want to cut um if i want to cut puffy sleeves like this i i, I make it seem like i'm covering it like a snake like i'm covering it in a slick snake like uh, manner rather so that's just what you have to do it's not that hard it's not difficult at all just get this curving and that's all please do not try and make your 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 the, the difference between the base and the down that's the armhole side do not make it four inches when you do it will not give you this effect it won't give you this effect so you can use six some persons might even go ahead to use seven that is for the calculation of the cap i'm sorry so this is what i did i used the softest stay not the paper stay not the one that is like cloth. i use the softest stay you can use color stay you can use the medium one but I use the softest and that's because I'm going to stay both the cloth and the lining. And yes, I didn't talk about the length at which I was to use. This is length 14, which after sewing definitely become 13. So the next thing that would give the standing effect is your boning. Please do not forget that you would need your boning. So you are going to leave half an inch space because that's what you use to join you're not going to join on the boning line you first sew your boning to your lining which i am going to do now so this is me trying to sew my boning to my lining i left half an inch gap to do so careful you have to sew it carefully because it's it can break needle sometimes so you'll be careful about it so i've sewn the boning to my lining now do well to give a little bit space as I did. Now I'm sewing the lining through my cloth to the sleeve. That is the material itself. And after doing that, the next thing is to close. That is to join. Please take note of how I'm joining. I do not want the joining to show. So I'm going to do a, a complete finishing for this sleeve. I'm hiding the seam allowances. So to do that, you join like this. And this is me detreading, trying to make the work neat as it is supposed to be. Once you are done with that, you just turn. See the effects? You won't see the same allowance in the sleeve. You know as the sleeve is full. And then that's all you have to do. Just join your lining to your, close your lining to your, um, to your main material. Once you are done with that, give it the, Splitting effects that you want, you join your next to the sleeve, ta-da, and that's actually all. It's that simple, and it's not, doesn't take time. So this is it, this is me after doing it. I'm sorry, this part, this part did not show, but that's all. Thank you.